apparently Manus AI is available to everyone at this point. So I wanna show you something really interesting. I'm on the community tab and I see someone here creating mockups, product mockups for their products. And they're just taking like basic photos of a supplement bottle, uh, you know, glasses that aren't even outside of the case. So you can't even see what the glasses look like. A simple cup and some AirPods. Well, Manus AI apparently is able to take in these raw images, clean them up, make them look really nice as mock-ups. And then it even goes the extra mile of, you know, go ahead and create a website where we can view all this information. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. And this is crazy. If we click on one of these, does anything happen? Nothing happens when I click on them, but still the fact that Manus AI was able to do this for another e-commerce seller, it makes me wanna try it and see if I get the same results because I'm seeing all this news about how Manus is able to do things that ChatGPT and these other AI tools aren't able to do. So let's go ahead and test it real time and see what results we get back. I've taken four random photos of different things on my desk basically and around the house and we're not only going to create product mock-ups i'm going to show you a few other use cases like having manis actually study facebook ads to see which ones are winning which ones are working right now and what products they're advertising and here's where it really gets crazy since we're on the community tab and we're viewing other projects that people have made which by the way, these projects only show up with your consent. So if you use Manus and you don't want them to show up here, that's totally fine. It's not going to show up here unless you give consent. Now, again, since we're viewing other people's projects, what we can actually do is down here at the bottom where it says, try it yourself. If we click on that, it's going to create this little anchor point where it shows us that it's actually going to basically follow the same process and prompts. So now what I'm going to do is say, I'll give you four photos, turn them into beautiful website photo mockups. We're going to hit continue. Now it's going to go ahead and create the plan for us. And what makes Manus different from ChatGPT is it's going to think through each step and then come back to you almost like a virtual assistant would or someone that you hire to do a task. So when we're using this feature called try it yourself, it's basically going to import the prompt that that person used. So here's the prompt. And then let's go ahead and hit confirm to proceed. And then what Manus is going to do is it's going to say upload those four product photos so that we can get started. So I'm going to go ahead and click on upload files and more and then go ahead and send in those four photos. And it's even telling me right here that it's going to pause and actually resume once it has the photos. But I want you guys to actually see this. You can click on view Manus's computer and it will actually have a web browser where Manus is going to be working. So I uploaded my photos. You can see we've got a geode. We've got a supplement, omega-3 fish oil. Uh, we have a couple other things here, Rubik's Cube and a pen. So let's go ahead and also answer any of the questions that Manus asks us. So right here, it has four different questions. Number one, it's asked about photo enhancement. Do you have any specific preferences? Clean white, subtle texture, or specific lifestyle context? I'm gonna go ahead and say lifestyle context mockups. For number two, Mockup Design is asking me, should the mockups include any placeholder text, like a product name or a short product description or a call to action button? So for question number two, I'm just gonna say no text because I don't want any text in that mockup photo. For number three, it's asking about styling. It says, you mentioned a clean, minimalistic aesthetic. If you have any examples of websites or brand styles you like, feel free to share those names or links. So if I had a specific website that I was inspired by, I could go ahead and put that in here. Let's just say we want an aesthetic similar to Apple, just for fun, just to see if it can create something similar. So let's say Apple style aesthetic. We could also put a website link directly to our inspiration, but we're just gonna say Apple style aesthetic. And then finally for number four, what products, you know, any more info about these products? I'm just gonna leave that one blank. So for question number four, it's asking us basically about more details about our products. So if you have a product that you're trying to sell and you're trying to create these mockups for, you would wanna go ahead and put in those details and briefly describe that product here. For myself, I'm just gonna leave it blank and then I'm gonna hit send. Now it's got our photos 
And it's also got some answers to the questions that it asked us earlier. So now Manus is gonna get to work. It literally says, thanks for the photos. I see Rubik's Cube, a pen, fish oil supplements. So it was able to actually look at those images and determine what they are. Now it's gonna go through and start the photo enhancement process. And uh, you can see here that we're watching the computer that Manus has and it's gonna go through a whole process of you know enhancing these images and then actually creating mock-ups. So Manus has finished up these photos. It's got everything checked off on its checklist over here. And you can see that the first image starts out pretty good. This looks pretty decent. It's on a white background. It's got a shadow that they added in. It removed the old background and the lines are really crisp. I mean, it looks like it removed it off of the old background. Now, when we go to the next one, we start to see some flaws. Like for example, the text is the biggest thing that jumps out to me. If you have a product like a supplement that has a lot of text on the bottle, or you have a brand that has a very intricate logo, then sometimes it's gonna get blurry, it's gonna get messed up or misspelled. Uh, you can see here, same thing on the Rubik's Cube. The product itself looks great, but then the text on the top really got messed up. And then finally the pen, same thing here. The pen looks fine, looks great, uh, but the actual text on it did not generate correctly. So I would say if you have a product without a lot of text, this is a great way to generate your mockups. Uh, if you do have text involved, then you might need to go through several iterations, or you might just need to take this image and hand it over to a virtual assistant that can go through and create the necessary modifications in an app like Photopea or Photoshop. So I would say Manus is probably gonna improve over time as well. We should see improvements. And then down here, it says, if you wanna rate this, you'll get 100 free credits. So this helps us get even more uh, you know, lets us talk to Manus even more and get more outputs and everything. So I gave it a four star and then I said that everything was great except the text was kind of blurry or misspelled. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit that and it'll give me those additional 100 credits. All right, hope you're enjoying the video so far. Next, we're gonna show you how to actually have it scrape through Facebook ads and show you the winning products and winning ads. And if you're getting value from this, please like and subscribe and consider leaving a comment below. I read every single comment and I reply to all the relevant ones. If you need a one-on-one -on -one strategy call, I'm gonna put a link for that in the video description because we can go and basically dive into your business, form a custom roadmap, for you and even talk about how to implement these breakthrough AI technologies to help you automate things and also just help you do things you've never been able to do before. The link to book that strategy call is going to be in the video description below. Otherwise, let's get back to the video. All right, guys. So what I'm doing right here is I'm having Manus actually do the Facebook ad research for us. So it's going to go in and actually you can see here I'm not typing this Manus is it's looking for custom blankets. And now it's going to go and sort through these ads and figure out like which custom blankets and which print on demand products are selling, how are they selling them? And then it's gonna come back and give me a full report. So this is really about condensing time down. So stuff that used to take several hours to do manually, we can now automate and it's much faster and we don't have to actually do it ourselves. We can go on and you know complete some other more important tasks in our business instead of using that brain power to just do product research or generate designs or whatever it is that used to take up a lot of your mental resources. And Manus is done. I'm gonna put these prompts that you need inside of a free Google Doc in the video description below. And uh, Manus has finished its task about 20 minutes, about two prompts, and it has compiled 10 specific products based off of Facebook ad library research. So first Manus went out and actually studied Facebook ads, and then it compiled all of this data, scraped the data, and I could have asked Manus to give us even more information. I could have said, well, give us engagement details, like how many shares, how many comments does it have, uh, you know, but it is telling us how long it's been running for, what platforms they're advertising on. It actually gives us the ad copy that they're using. And it tells us also what type of creative they're using. So if they're using a video, they'll describe the video. If they're using an image, it tells us exactly what type of image they're using. And then of course here, uh, I found that this one was pretty interesting. This one's definitely 
a good find. Like I haven't seen this one before, but you can tell based off how many reviews they have and just the concept in general that this is working really well for this seller. So this is a perfect example of Manus AI going out and actually finding some really good ideas for us. Let's take a take a look at a couple other ideas. This is a dart lover shirt. This is something again I would have never thought of. Like I'm not really some of the plays darts, but let's take a look at this. Really interesting here. Almost looks like they're using AI to create these jerseys that are focused on people who play darts. Uh, I don't know how large this niche actually is, but again, we could use Manus to go in and say, hey, how big is this actual niche? Is this something that you know is gonna sell really well going forward? And then the first one that it actually studied was this photo blanket or a custom blanket ad. And I'm looking here and I'm seeing that this is really specifically focused on Father's Day. So when we come over here, we start seeing different Father's Day related blankets and that's exactly what they're selling. And this is super useful. It's all about condensing time in your favor. So if this used to take you hours to find winning products for yourself, maybe Manus can condense that time down into like 20 to 30 minutes, automate it so that you can get that time back for yourself, get that mental energy back for yourself. And now you're using AI to actually get you sales and move you forward in your business. Another thing that I did with Manus was basically have it analyze my TikTok account. I gave it my profile and I asked it how I could grow faster as a TikTok affiliate and uh, it basically came back with a bunch of suggestions. It did have trouble accessing all of my videos, but when I gave it links to the direct videos themselves, it was able to actually perform a full analysis. It can even watch the videos and tell me what's happening in that video. So it says shows a cat playing with a rope toy on a bed, which is the catnip uh, affiliate product that we're selling on this affiliate account. Basically, Manus is able to go in and do a full breakdown of these accounts and tell us the strengths and then also the weaknesses and where we could improve and also just develop a full strategy for us to continue growing or continue selling more of these affiliate products on TikTok. So this is just another example of what Manus can do. And remember that since it's an agent, it's going to actually open up a separate virtual computer and start problem solving, start doing everything that needs to be done. And this just also shows how Manus is actually a little bit different from ChatGPT and how it will actually open up another browser for itself, have, a, have its own virtual space where it can go and work, and then it will come back to you basically like an agent anytime it needs help. So it might say something like, hey, I got stuck and I've got a captcha and I need you to help me go through the captcha and select all of the images that are a bus. And so anyway, also might come back to you and say, hey, I need this asset or I need you to answer this question before I can continue. And so it really does feel more like an assistant or an agent compared to ChatGPT right now, which is still sort of just a large language model and uh, obviously will be improved on over time. I imagine this is the same direction that ChatGPT will head, it's just a matter of time. I found that ChatGPT's image generation is still a little bit better. Manus AI, when it comes to generating those mockups, they turned out pretty good, but text was definitely not lining up, it's definitely misspellings or blurriness. ChatGPT is still probably a bit better when it comes to generating product mockups. So I'm gonna put a link to Manus below. I'm also going to put a link for our free Facebook group where we talk about all the AI updates and things that are happening for online business owners and content creators so that you can succeed. Be sure to subscribe and comment below so that you see more of these videos.